Why aren't they speaking up? Because they're scared about just being taken out. Well, I mean, I just got a letter from the medical board about a complaint that was written clearly from a doctor. And I think I know who it was. But, uh, you know, to their credit, the medical board just said, we're just notifying you of this complaint. But yeah, they, they are afraid. And I've had a long history. I've been battling the medical board pretty much every year since 1999. So they, at this point, I think, just want me to go away. They don't want to, you know, they just, you know, take this course, take that, whatever. They just don't want things to go forward anymore because at a certain point, you have to understand that um, that the truth is always going to come out, right? It may take, my dad always used to say this, no matter what anybody says, it may take a week, it may take a month, it may take a year, it may take thousands of years, but the truth will always sustain itself. And we are at that point in history right now that we must, as a global population, as a citizens of this planet, not as citizens of the United States or the UK or this country, that country, as a planetary population, recognize that one, we are all connected. Literally, we're all connected. If you study quantum physics, you already understand that. But we are all connected and our differences have been accentuated over the decades and over hundreds of years. Our religion, our creed, our ethnicity, our skin, color for skin to create diversion. It's the same thing as saying China created a bioweapon, whereas taking the responsibility away from the United States for shutting down the economy. It's that type of division, division, division. It's always division, right? If you think about it, divide and conquer. That's, that's an old saying. So you first divide the, the populace and then you conquer them. So I'm asking for people to unite. And my message, Dr. Lipton's message and Nia's message that we put out that was censored by certain media, it got out there. I got, I got it, was un, it was surreal to get videos sent for, to me from Russia showing your message is getting out and, and people are congregating, people are coming together and the police trying to break it up. I have asked for every law enforcement officer, every military individual, anybody who's served in the military, active duty or retired, I have asked them, to remember the oath that they took to protect and defend the U.S. Constitution against all enemies, all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I'm not asking for people to write like some people are saying. That that's ridiculous. We are a nation, a free nation, and we are the United States. And the world is a free nation. It's up to us to now define what that freedom means. Instead of wars being pitted against each other, we need to start looking at the similarities and see the similarities between ourselves. And then we can understand how this agenda began how this agenda has gotten perpetrated, how COVID-19, all the governments became complicit. Not all the leaders are bad leaders. Some of these people are good people and they're trying to do the best they can, but some of them are complicit. And these, and it may not be the leaders, it may be the people who are surrounding the leaders. It needs to be flushed out, Brian. It needs to be flushed out, discovered, and those people, as far as I'm concerned, should be hung for treason, for, for against all their, all their respective countries that they've committed treason against. Because if you shut down the economy, people are dying right now. Suicide. Uh, Dr. Erickson, I believe, in his report was talking about the side effects of this, of this uh, epidemic, right? Of this pandemic, or what they say, now they call it the plandemic. The side effects of this, the side numbers that nobody's talking about, the number of child abuse cases that have gone up, the number of domestic violence cases that have gone up, the number of suicides that have gone up, the number of people that are so distressed and distraught and that are that are depressed and that are taking out their frustrations on their children or on their spouses and then killing themselves. What about all those numbers?